then the next step didn't take place until 1985 when uh, one of my PhD students, Charles Kennedy, uh, who's a, a very good Purin worker today, um, we published a paper in which we felt we could subdivide the P2 ATP receptor into two subtypes, which we call P2X and P2Y, on the basis of pharmacology. When I say we divide it into P2X and P2Y on a pharmacological basis, for example, we found that alpha-beta-methylene ATP seemed to be effective on P2X receptors, whereas um, 2 methylthio ATP was selective for P2Y receptors. It, it hasn't held up altogether, but nevertheless, this was the basis, and that's what we proposed. Now, the exciting thing for us is that when we cloned the receptors, we and others, in the early 90s, it turned out that uh, cloned and also looked at second messenger systems, that P2X and P2Y was uh, validated because it worked out. The molecules were totally different for P2X, and it was an ion channel receptor, and P2Y was a G-protein coupled receptor. We were lucky as I've often been in my science, I must admit. <laughs>